Hi students, so today I'm going to guide you on chapter 4 which the topic is indices, search and logarithms. Now, uh, for this part, part 1, we are only going to look at indices first, okay? So, uh, for indices, there are actually laws that you need to know. Now, these laws, okay, you might be familiar already because you have definitely learned this during your Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3. So, uh, but I'm still going to show you the laws, okay? But because we are going to use it to simplify algebraic uh, expressions, alright? So, first you need to know that uh, when you have a number, okay, and when you have a power, okay? So, I'm going to write it in terms of the letters, okay? When you have a number, okay, let's say this is the number. The number is known as base, okay? And the power will be known as index. Okay, so knowing this, now let me go through the, the laws one by one. Okay, so let's say you have a m okay, times a n. As you can see, they have the same base, but different index. Okay, so when you have same base, but different index, what you're going to do to the index will be you're going to add them okay so this is easy next let's say you have the same base okay but different index and this time it's divide okay if it's divide you are going to minus okay take the power the index minus all right now let's say it's like this you have one base, okay, but you have one index to it and then another index outside the bracket. Okay, so what's going to happen here is you are going to times. So it's going to be m times n. So it's going to be a, m, n. Okay, and what if let's say you have like this, a to the power of 1 over n. Now, this one can be represented as a square root, okay? Square root of n, okay? So, a is square root of n. Now, if it's like this, a, m over n. So, again, okay, we're going to write square root of n, a, okay? But this time, the m is going to be outside, okay? So, the n belongs as a square root, okay, square root, the m becomes the power outside, okay. Now, there's one thing that you need to know, alright, which is if a, okay, if let's say the base is the power of 0, automatically the value will always be equal to 1, okay. So, so far I've covered this, alright, and last one. If let's say you have a negative index, okay, you have the base, then you have a negative index. How to change this to positive? We will write it in fraction. So it will be 1 over a to the power of n. Now this is something that I would really, really suggest that you do your own notes, okay? Make your own notes on this and make sure you memorize this. Okay, this should be in your fingertips. Uh, so that you don't struggle during exam, okay? So I'm going to give a few examples here. Now, let's try this, okay? Simplify the following. Okay, I'm going to write the questions first. Simplify the following. Okay, so I have the questions here already. Now, let's look at the way to solve. Now, we are of course going to base on this. So I'm going to leave this here. So we are going to do this one by one. So the first one, a, 3m times 3 to the power of 3m. Okay, now is the base the same? Yes, the base is the same. We have a times. So if times means we have to plus the index. So that means it's going to be 3m plus 3m, which means it's equals to 3 to the power of 4m. It's easy, right? Yes, it's quite easy because now I'm doing the simple examples first. Okay, next. B. 8A to the power of 7 
okay b to the power of 3 divide so divide i'm just going to straight away write like this okay divide 2a to the power of 4 b to the power of 3 okay you can leave it like that it can but divide makes uh for me personally it makes me feel that i can cut off the numbers okay so it's going to be just 4 right 4 how about the a the 7 is going to minus with the number 4 below because divide you have to minus right the index so it's 7 minus 4 okay the b is going to be 3 minus 3 okay so it's going to be 4 a to the power of 3 b to the power of 0 now looks like we have an algebraic expression here Okay, where the b is to the power of 0. So anything to the power of 0 is equals to 1. So it's actually 1, right? So 4 times 1 is 4. So the answer is 4a to the power of 3. Now the last one. Okay, I think I can do it here. So c. c we have m to the power of negative 3 times y square over m. Now, we can see that there is times and there is also divide. Okay, but I don't want to leave it in fraction. Let me bring it all into a into one line equation. So if it's in a fraction, okay, I'm gonna bring the m come up. Okay, I'm gonna bring the m come up. So it's gonna be m negative three okay times y square when the m comes up becomes m negative one. Okay, why negative 1? Because down here is 1, right? Okay, when it's 1, when go up becomes negative 1. So it's like this. So now that means when you have the base, okay, for this the index you have to plus. Negative 3 plus negative 1 times y square. So I'm just going to write y square. So negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4, okay, y square. So I'm not going to leave the, the base with negative like this. I'm going to change it back, go down. So it's going to be y square over m to the power of 4. Now why did I do that? Because I want to make sure that my index is positive. I don't want to leave any index with negative. Okay. So this is simple ones. Now let me show you one example of slightly harder question. Okay, so let's look at this question. This question is just slightly, okay, not so hard. It's just slightly hard. Uh, I would say intermediate, okay. Now, we have this question, 25, okay, 5 to the power of 2x minus 3 equals to 1. They have given us this. Find the value of x that satisfy the equation. So, we, now we have to find the value of x. Okay, so first, 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 what are you going to do? Of course, you have to change 25. We can't, we don't want 25 because this, the base here that we have is 5 and over here we have 1. Okay, so let's change 25 to base 5. Okay, so what would it be? So it's going to be 5 square. Okay, so it's going to be 5 square. Okay, so we change. This one just copy back. Okay, 2x minus 3 equals to 1. Okay, so now it looks like we have a base here okay so it looks like here there's times right so here there's a base times a base inside as well okay so when it times you know we know what to do okay because we have same base and there's a times in the middle that means you have to plus all the power the index so it's going to be five okay two okay two plus 2x plus negative 3 so plus negative 3 will be minus 3 okay so it looks like everything is changed equal to 1 now it looks like our left hand side has the base 5 but our right hand side is still 1 so it looks like we have to change this we have to change this to base 5 so how do i change this to base 5 so that means 5 to the power of what is equals to 1? 5 to the power of what number is equals to 1? So as you know, 
any base that equals to z uh, that powers to zero is equals to one. So that means five to the power of zero. Okay, so it looks like I can write now the equation five to the power of two x. Sorry, five to the power of two plus two x minus three. Okay, let me just erase this. Okay, equals to five to the power of zero. All right, that's great. We already get both sides same base. This is what we want to achieve. Okay, we wanted to achieve same base on both sides. Okay, now this is already achieved. Can we equate just the index, just the power? We just equate the power. So two plus two x minus three equals zero. So here we solve first. So it's 2x minus 1 equals 0. So 2x equals to 1. x is equal to 1 over 2. So we have find the value of x that satisfy the equation. So keep practicing guys. And I also will be posting questions on this topic in our Telegram group. So click on the link below to join the Telegram group. It's absolutely free. And also join our Facebook group. So share this with a friend. And until I see you with, on my next video.